And we're back, Adventure Boy here, to talk about something that really should be discussed. With Spyro and Crash getting remasters of their original games, should or could Sonic the Hedgehog be next with the Sonic Adventure remasters? Let's talk about it. I want to go through the pros and the cons of this. Should Sonic Adventure 1 or Sonic Adventure 2 be remastered? Is Sega interested in remastering these games? And does the fanbase truly want it? That's what we're going to find out. So let's get started. Let's start things off with the fact that Spyro and Crash are doing amazing because of these remasters. The fan bases for both games have been very supportive and have even grown because of these remasters. Outside of one minor issue with the disc space for Spyro, it has overall gone very well and has been very profitable for Activision. So, Sega will probably notice this and want to do something similar for their IPs. And what better Series 3 Master than Sonic? And money talks. Activision is getting a ton of money by Crash and Spyro. And Nintendo is doing something similar. I mean, look at these Zelda games. They remastered Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. All with very positive reviews and receptions from fans and critics alike. You know Sega's going to notice this. Sega is also not afraid to listen to fans. Gamma was because they listened to the fans and gave a Sonic character a gun. Shadow getting his own game was because they listened to the fans. And a custom character for Sonic Forces was a fan idea that they did. This is nothing new for Sega. Heck, Sonic Mania is for the fans. And a lot of people want to point out was made by fans. So not only is Sega not afraid to do stuff for the fans, they embrace the fan base. I mean, explain the Sanic t-shirt in Sonic Forces. They just love doing stuff for the fan base. Mania's success is also a factor we should consider as well. Mania is the highest rated Sonic game since the Dreamcast era. Everyone loves Mania. Both fans, critics, and even newcomers to the series love Mania. You know Sega's going to notice that, and want to do more games similar to Mania, in the more classic era or adventure era style. If they can bring back classic Sonic, there's a good chance they could bring back adventure era Sonic. There have also been a ton of nods to the adventure era in both Sonic Forces and the IDW Sonic comics. There have been nods to Adventure 2 and the comics, with actual panels showing scenes from the game, and Sonic Forces had chaos. In fact, the biggest complaint, or one of the biggest complaints for Forces, was chaos not having a boss fight. So, Sega listens to the fans, and fans have been wanting a chaos boss fight. What better way to give chaos a boss fight than by reimagining the original boss? Now, there are some flaws in this thinking though. One of them is the fact that Sega already considers the PS3 and Xbox 360 ports of Adventure 1 and 2 HD remasters. And though there are differences between a reimagining and a remaster, that's still a factor. Why reimagine a game when you can just go on PS3's store or Steam or Xbox Arcade and download the full game? And it's not like these systems are considered retro either. You can go to any store just about and buy games for a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. They're readily available. Another problem with the possibility of a Sonic Adventure 1 or 2 remaster is the fact that Sega has stated numerous times that they don't want to keep going back to the past for the Sonic series. Granted, Mania goes against all of that thinking, but that's what they go with. That's why Sega has not brought back Chow Garden. They don't want to bring back a gameplay style just so they can bring back a feature. They would much rather introduce new gameplay styles and new features instead. And also, though a lot of people want Adventure 1 and 2 Remastered or Adventure 3, the Adventure games have a very mixed reputation. There is a ton, and I mean a ton, of love for the Adventure games but there is also a very vocal hate towards those games as well. And there's a lot of stuff that people hate about the adventure games, even people who love them. And a lot of people can't stand big, or the gun segments. 
So Sega would have to change those to make people happy. And if you change them, they'll be different from the original. And the people who love the originals for that will be mad. So there wouldn't really be a good balance. Because no matter what, people will probably hate on the games. And be mad because they're not like the original Dreamcast games. So to Sega, it'll probably be way too much trouble than it's worth. All things considered, I think that it is possible for Sega to remaster Sonic Adventure 1 or Sonic Adventure 2, but I see it as being very unlikely to ever happen. Yes, Sega has shown a ton of interest in that era by making all these easter eggs and references to those games. That's all it has been, easter eggs and references. There hasn't been any major implications or any major nods or hints towards in a remaster. They were just fun easter eggs and moments for Adventure Era fans to geek out over. And I don't know about you guys, but I certainly did. And though Sonic Mania is proof that people love Sonic regardless of the era, Sonic Mania is very different from Sonic Adventure. So it's hard to really judge one way or the other how much Sonic Mania impacts the Adventure Era in any way. Whether it be whether Sega wants to do the Adventure games or just make more nods to those. All Mania did was prove that people love Sonic in all regards. Sega could take this many ways. They could take it as, hey, people love Sonic Mania. Maybe we can make more classic Sonic games. Or they could take it as, hey, people love Mania and Sonic. We should bring back the Adventure Era games next. It could go so many ways, it's hard to really judge how it will go. Anyways guys, that's about all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it with others so they can enjoy it as well. Comment below what you think. Should Sega remaster Sonic Adventure 1 or 2? And if you want to talk about Sonic with me, please check out my Twitter. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, this is Adventure Blur, and I will see you next time.